Andrew Faust is going to be coming and reading the landscape. And here, this weekend... The way we like to put it is ecological design is an act of discovery. It's not an act of superimposition of a prejudiced, presupposed plan. Yes, that is awesome. Wait. I'm feeling hopeful because these places are being preserved and being kept and in serenity and uh, peaceful places to retreat to and build something more meaningful, I think. We are trying to maybe hit the restart button and I'm hoping that that continues to ripple uh, outward. And this property is a great example of what's possible when people take a little care and consideration to their surroundings. And it's a plan that emerges from understanding more deeply how the landscape really is and then how to fit what you're trying to do to it in a way that you know, makes sense and is appropriate and well suited. We're going to read it. We are going to apply the language of Mother Nature. Each of us is a node, is a piece of this puzzle. The ark that waited for the unicorns is waiting for you to say, I'm in. I want to put my hands in the earth. It's, it's a blank slate. I came here and I fell in love with it. I, I fell in love with the possibility of what I saw in my imagination. It's going to take funding. It's going to take fun. Like anything we do has a huge ripple effect. It's called the scale of permanence, and it's the uh, what's the most changeable to what's the least changeable in a landscape, in a physical landscape. And so what we've done with it is we take it into a real quick and dirty immersion experience for people. The so practicalities of it are very simple. I'll break people into teams and send them out to pay attention to these different you know, least changeable to most changeable elements of the landscape. So first, people go out and look at landform. That's the least changeable aspect of the landscape. Then another group at the same time will go out and just look at water. And then another group goes out and looks at vegetation and wildlife, microclimates. And then they come back and they all report what they saw and then send them out in another set of layers, access and circulation, buildings and infrastructure, that kind of thing, aesthetics, experience of place. Then they all get back into the studio at the end of the day and pull together what's called a ANA synthesis map, which is where you take all those layers, landform, water, vegetation, wildlife, access to circulation building, all those layers, put them into one cake that makes sense and isn't just a mess and people can understand it. And then from that, uh, start to place the elements there, the desired elements of the design. So. From these interests we have, these things that we want to have in our lives, we want to make our lives like like the rainbow, you know, full of different different activities. And, and this land is has such massive potential to satisfy so many different desires, really. I mean, whether it's you, you desire to go up on the mountain and have like a serene meditation, or you want to walk among wetlands and just listen to the birds. And, mm -hmm the beavers and like like this you know or go sit in the hot tub and like stare at the at the beautiful view and, and listen to the train come in like there's just so much to experience because of this land that i am being i'm quickly reminded of how absolutely gorgeous duchess county new york is reality doesn't fit on tv we have a really big opportunity here and we need a headquarters in nature to nurture the ancient future here in Wasik, New York. We are the nodes of the web of life because it's happening everywhere simultaneously and interconnected. People are craving something more authentic. Work is the best kind of recreation. You have to have meaning in your life. Everybody does it in one way or another. Some other places across this beautiful county where we can, you know, do the same thing with pride and joy at what we've accomplished. I want to learn about how to grow mushrooms. We must all step into our gifts, our inherent knowings, and teach them. Community is the new guru, and we need each other. Share our resources, making steps in the right direction and show, showing other people how to do that. Like This place is located right off from New York City. You can literally walk here from the train. That makes it a really easy access point to, to come and create to come and be part of this community that we need to build. There's going to be a magical tea party in the woods. And this is our chance to hit the reset button on this place, on our lives. 